Hello traders, welcome to Bunex Investment Group. In this video, we are going to be talking about a very simple trading strategy which you can as well apply as a scalping. No indicators required, only pure price action with naked charts. Alright, so before we talk anything about this, I just want to highlight something in terms of trading. Trading is actually a business and trading requires seriousness. Someone would be trading on their phone whilst on uh, their uh, on their road to work. Some probably may be bathing while entering trades. If ever you are trading that way, you are not giving this business enough respect. So make sure you're actually trading the right way for you to see uh, the results that you are looking for. All right. So to cut the long story short, just be serious. Without further ado, let's actually jump into this. What do we look for when we want to buy or when to, we want to sell? That's the only thing that is uh, uh, explained in thick volumes of books and uh, a lot of contexts on the internet. Uh, we are all trying to find the moment where we buy or sell. And the moment where we buy or sell differs from trader to trader and it all uh, depends on what type of person you are. Are you a long-term trader or are you a short-term trader? Well, in this particular video, we are going to talk more on the short-term trading side whereby we are actually looking at each day as it comes. All right. So the first thing is to spot points where the market makers have injected some funds. Right, so how do we spot points where funds is, have been injected or where liquidity has been grabbed and the market makers are now pulling away from those regions? It's actually a point whereby we see the market giving us at least three rally candles. Right, rally candles are basically candles of the same color that are running in the same direction. Right. For example, in this particular case, we can see there was a drop. Then at this particular point, we can see there were rally candles. So the first step is to look for rally candles and make sure you spot these rally candles. After spotting those rally candles, the next thing is to spot the last candlestick before that rally candle uh, experience occurred. Like for in for instance, at this particular point, we had three rally candles, one, two, three, in the same direction. And the last candle before these occurred was this red one, right? Was this red candlestick, which was actually a hammer. So this is the candlestick, or this is the price range that we are interested in. The high and low of that price range is what we want right and if ever the market actually returns to that price range we expect to see a candlestick reversal pattern but now it all depends on the overall trend of the market is the market rising on the h4 time frame or is the market dropping on the h4 time frame the h4 time frame works as a, uh, a bias provider whereby if we see an upward market structure we follow the rallies in that particular bias it's uh, and the inverse is actually true so in this particular case we we haven't checked the higher time frame but we can see that at this particular point the rally candles were issued the last candle before the rally was issued was this one the high and the low was this one and we need to see a candlestick reversal pattern within that price range in this particular case we had this a uh, beautiful three candlestick and this was actually a scalp trade where we actually were going to get um, 15 pips and uh, around uh, around 25 pips now depends on how much you are scalping but as an entry uh, strategy we will need to go on the lower time frames right we had a rally candle this was now friday of this day rally candles the last candle uh before the rally was issued was this gr green candlestick right the upper and lower of that last candlestick we go into the future and into the future we can see the market actually came 
back to retest that same point and we had a beautiful drop like that right so we can see now uh, on this particular day we had this uh, entry point then here we can now see where was rally candles as you can see the quality of the rally candles are actually moving fast without much consolidation on the lower time frames in this particular case on this day there was no rally candles up uh, to this extent we can see there were rally candles rally candles after those rally candles the last uh, uh the last candlestick was this one meaning that we had a price range that was actually uh, moving in this zone so a candlestick reversal pattern was issued after that uh, rally, uh, these rally candles. Another price range that we were also expecting to see the market to come back was actually this one. So we can plot these price ranges on the smaller time frames so that we can see uh, clearly. In this case, we had this rally candle meaning that this was a valid price range which when retested into the future we were going to require it and another one we had another rally candle here so it's now effect whereby we will be waiting to see the market to come in either we can see that this one is the one that was later retested like that we later came back to retest this and the market actually went our direction so basically it's a fact it's a matter of looking for rally candles look for the last candlestick before the rally candles occurred and then wait for a uh, retracement to those price ranges where we will enter only after a candlestick reversal pattern has been issued basically like that on that note we've come to the end of our today's video i'll see you in the next one and please check out our free telegram channel. I'll leave the link in the description box below.